the examination of the nose. With the examination of the nose, we also do the inspection and palpation, the two examination techniques that we must use. So when we do the examination of the external nose, we look at the patient, standing in front of the patient. We look at the patient's nose. We look at the shape of the nose, if there's any deformity, if there's asymmetry, that means one side is not the same as the other side. Um, if there's any skin lesions or inflammation on the nose, on the nostrils also. Um, we also look if, if the shape of the nose is normal or abnormal. Look at the size of the nose. We look at the color of the nose. Is the color pink? Is it red? Is it cyanotic? Which will give an indication that there's something wrong. Look for a flare on the nose, which will be an indication of respiratory distress, discharge, or any swelling of the nose. Okay, now when we do the palpation of the nose, we're going to palpate the patient's nose from the bridge of the nose right down the bony part, which is one third, and then the cartilaginous of the nose, which is two thirds, the movable part of the nose. We check if there's any deformity, any pain, any tenderness of the nose. And that concludes the inspection of the external nose. You must remember, we must look for, also test for the patency of the nostrils. That means we must ask the patient to block, patient block quickly, one nostril, and then breathe through the other nostril. To, so that you can know if there is any nasal obstruction, especially like for example when you have a cold. Now do the other one please sir. So there's no nasal obstruction found at this patient. Okay, we also ask the patient um, if we can test his sense of smell. So we're going to use an alcohol swap and he must close his eyes to be able to tell me what does it smell like. What does it smell, sir? I like alcohol. Like alcohol. Thank you, sir. So there's nothing wrong with the sense of smell. Okay. Now we're also going to inspect the nasal cavity. So with the nasal cavity, we're going to look, we're going to use um, a torch. We're going to use a torch and we're going to look into inside the nasal cavity. We're going to look at the nasal mucosa. We're going to look at the nasal septum. We're going to look at the, at the turbulence to see if there's any abnormalities. Also look and inspect and, uh, for swelling, foreign objects, bleeding, abnormal discharges, any perforations of the nasal septum. So now we're going to lift up the tip of the patient's nose and we are going to inspect. I said we look at the nasal mucosa, we look at the nasal septum, we look at the turbulence right at the back there of the patient's nose. And we, um, we observe if there's any abnormalities like the, with the nasal mucosa, the color, the normal color is a pinkish color, which will, which will also be on the nasal mucosa and the turbulence. So if the nasal mucosa and the turbulence is a bright red color, that will indicate a, a nasal infection, for example, rhinitis. If the nasal mucosa and the turbulence is a pale gray color, it will indicate that there is a allergy or allergic rhinitis. Also, we look at the septum of the patient. We look at the nasal septum to see if there is any perforations in the nasal septum or bleeding. We also look to see if there's any uh, swelling inside the nose. We also look into the, into the nose, at, especially at the nasal septum, to see if, if, it's, uh, if there's no deviation or perforations, which could be caused by trauma to the nose. That concludes the examination of the external nose and the nasal cavity. And now we go to the inspection, actually the palpation of the sinuses, which includes the frontal sinuses and the maxillary sinuses. Now when we do the examination or the um, palpation of the sinuses, we um, make use of our thumbs and we place our thumbs just underneath the eyebrow, not pressure 
on the arm, please. You apply pressure just below the eyebrow and you press up. Okay? The same with the maxillary sinuses. You place it just on the cheekbones or just below the cheekbones and you apply pressure up. If the patient has an infection in his sinuses, the pressure will cause pain and that is an indication of sinusitis. Then we also to um, conclude our, our diagnosis, we can do percussion, a direct percussion on the sinuses and the maxillary sinuses. And if there's any pain, the patient will also indicate that there's pain and that will conclude your diagnosis of sinusitis.